gear? Well, it's always it's always a good idea to be sporty. I think in the morning it is a little bit early, but uh, we've had the countdown. We've gone we've gone three, two, one, and we're now. Oh my God, are we live? Are we live? We're now live to, the, <laughs> live to the nations. We are live to the nations. Yes, it is welcome everybody. It is the great England Australia cook off on a Tuesday. With or me. the Australian England cook off, depending <laughs> on which side of the world you're on. <laughs> Yeah, which way you which way you bat? Um, yes, we're early today. We've eaten Nick Wood and of course the amazing Adair Palmer over in sunny Brisbane. And Adair, we've gone early this week because you live on a houseboat, and mm -hmm. I've been seeing your amazing views when it's been light. But we normally and it's normally dark when we go live. But let's have a look at where you live. Show us where you live first. It's amazing. amazing. Thank you for the invitation, like I need to be told twice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's normally calm like a pond, but we've got a bit of chop today and I keep telling myself this is okay because it could be a comedy routine. <laughs> right. Good. Actually, I'm going to put you on, oh, yeah. put you on full screen there, there so people can actually see better. That's I'm better. going to take you. This is a view out of my kitchen window. Oh, wow. Isn't that That's spectacular? Nice. And so yeah. we'll, the, the kitchen yeah, window, this is, now this is, this is where I throw my scraps. Like oh. Only the, only the, only the, not out the kitchen window, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> only the scraps that are uh, like, uh, what do you call it, degradable, so that they, you know, like kitchen scraps, definitely not, you know, like plastics and stuff like that. But there's my kitchen door. Nice. Can you see that? Nice. Yeah, it looks good. So don't this here, drunk. don't get drunk. <laughs> that step is a doozy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Like, if you even, were... even poke your head around the corner, and you can have a look at the side. There we go. Oh wow! That side, <sighs> and we've got the beginnings of sunset there. Can you see that? Oh, beautiful! That's lovely. And this is our oh, my herb garden up close. <laughs> oh, yeah, we like the herb garden. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, nice. Got the herb garden and, of course, the view out the front. And there's the wheelhouse. It's, that's going to that's in the process of being rebuilt. But that's what makes this baby not a tree. We can move. <laughs> that's the, that is the amazing thing, isn't it? It's like, you know, we, when, you, when you talk about, um, oh, I've got a houseboat. You know, me and my you know, my little English brain thinks back to <laughs> children's holidays on the rivers and, you know, the parents used to get a little, the rented little houseboat and that was tethered to the, the bank of the of the river. But, yeah. no, you're in the, you look like you're in the middle of the sea. <laughs> I am in the river of the sea. This will got rivers. Um, it's got a very shallow draft on it, so it's only about, like, 700 whatever i'm spatially challenged so yeah, so it will go up uh, quite happily uh, i choose to be out here because i like to be uh, on my my island Kuchi, which is oh just over here um you can just see there's the um out the window you can see the boat ramp yep. there Nice. And I've got a huge, I, I will take you, if we do an early one next week, I'll take you on a little tippy tour of the boat, but I won't today because it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, <not> to... <laughs> and, and there's things, yeah, I just, uh, it's like one of those things when you go, I don't know what to wear, and you just throw everything everywhere and then you find the outfit. Well, in this case, it's like, I don't know what equipment to put together because I had my main computer that I hook all this up to uh, had a connection so i've had to give that a enema and <laughs> i may be looking on amazon for another computer very shortly so i'll, I'll give you i'll go psst, psst. <laughs> if oh, i choose nice. to buy one i'll send you a link to put one on your on your shopping list for me so <laughs> no worries no worries well, it was, it was quite interesting, Adair, because we just lost the uh, we lost the Amazon link, I believe. Oh, have we? Okay, so we're still a, on. We're on Facebook. Yeah, we are. We're, we're, on, we're on, Facebook. on Facebook and everything. But uh, I was going to say, go join us over on Amazon. But I, 
for the life of me, uh, the little link has gone. So, uh, so I'm not sure what we can do with that. Unless you want to do us another little tour, and I'll quickly try and jam that link back in, Adair. Jam but the I know uh, technology. This is the joy of live streaming. You know, that that awesome. happened. When did that happen? Last week, I think. When I, I we were we'd done about three quarters of the show and lost the Amazon link. But yes, like I said, like you said, the joy of live streaming, and you just go whatever can go wrong will go wrong. It's a bit like living on a boat, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I've, just, I've just. I've just convinced myself today that um, that I like the waves. They're getting a bit a bit jumpy. We haven't seen white caps yet, but I'll show you again. I'll take you out while you play with your Amazon. I'll take you. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll put you on the screen. I won't show you around because I'm at, I'm sort of attached to the camera and it's, the cord's not that long. So um, I just think we'll just enjoy some more of the sunset. Let's have see if I can do this without getting it too um, untidy. There we go. Oh, yeah, that sunset was beautiful. It is beautiful. And you can see there's a bit of chop there, a bit of wave. And if it gets too too bumpy, um, I find it a bit uncomfortable, but at the moment I'm just going like those waves are going to be scrubbing the bum of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> because they, it actually grows slime on the bottom. Um, and then the slime attracts barnacles. Ah, that's what happens. Yes. So, so I'm just no, my arm's getting tired. So I, I just keep talking. You keep trying to plug away. Um, yeah, keep talking with there. I tell, actually, can I tell you, you what. Can you multitask? I, I, I multitask. No, well, it's just not letting me. Um, we can't. I can't redo the Amazon stream key without switching off the broadcast, which we don't want to do. I'm quite oh. happy to. Do. Tuna morning. Oh, and we Tuna can, morning out here. We're on we're on Facebook. We're on we're all over. We don't mind. So all right. Well we've got Ros here on my time. She said she's here on her iPad. I'm hey. yeah, so Ros and anyone else I've seen we had a couple of other people join us. And yeah, we got, Ros uh, is casting our show to her TV. Oh bless you, Ros. Oh blimey, <laughs> I really should have really we should have done that there. No pressure, mate. We've got to put on a performance now because Ros has got us on the big telly. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pressure there, right there. Um, yeah, no, I can't. I can only see. Uh, I can see Chris. Uh, Chris says hello, Nick and Adair in the comments. Hello, um, Chris. I can't see your comments, Ros. That's a shame. But uh, uh, they should, be, they should you... be coming in from my time. That's a bit interesting. I don't know why they're not. Yeah, well, they so. But, but so, do you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, if you keep tabs on that, then Adair, and then um, and obviously we'll give a quick plug because normally we would like to be saying, "Go click nickwood.live and you can watch us on Amazon," but you can't at the moment. But hey, maybe we'll pop a little video up. Um, still, oh, still do pop over there and yeah. uh, and and do a follow, you know. But do it at one. Make sure you come back and bring your friends. The more, the merrier. Because we're doing That's Tuna Morne tonight. I know. So so what do you do with your Tuna Morne? Now, I, know, I think Tuna Morne is a very, very Australian dish. So I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> well, uh, leveled the playing field, you think, from last week when I completely <laughs> messed up that chicken. I keep calling a chicken adobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're, you're being chili chicken. <laughs> I know, whatever it was, it tasted okay, but it just was, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. So that was my bad, and you won that round. But not that there's winners and losers because everybody's, we're just having fun here. So chicken, tuna mornay to uh, to me, when I was growing up, it's like the poor man's food because with enough flour and butter and watered down milk, you can make, you can feed a family of 10 for a week. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> So it just reminded me of that, you know, that, uh, I think it's an English poem. Is it peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old? Yeah, exactly, yeah, that is, exactly. We always had that as kids. I'll tell you what yeah. made me laugh, yeah, was when I was looking for, when I first started looking for the recipe, 
I was thinking, oh God, where am I going to get some fresh tuna from? Not realizing. <laughs> Here's some I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's 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 good. So it's basically so we've got tuna. Yeah, I I found this recipe. I'm going to show it to uh, show it on the screen. Um, I'm just having a look on my phone because I can't see the the screen. Oh, that looks delish. Delish. Rose is still finding out how from Facebook how to cast your screen. Ros, do you have a um, a Chromecast at all? Do you have a Chrome? Um, unless if, you, if you've got a smart TV, you should be able to hook it in through your Wi-Fi if your um, iPad is on the same Wi-Fi as your TV is. So good luck. All right. So what have we got in this recipe, Nick? Oh, we have no audio. Hello, hello. All right. Well, while Nick's still coming back with his audio, he's probably yapping oh. away in the background. Oh no, here he is. Yeah, no. I tell you why. It's because I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is the this is the recipe, and so basically, it's just um, it's a it's a it's a Cheese and onion, nice uh, roux sauce, basically, bechamel sauce, um, mm -hmm. which we add tuna to. And then we're going to be, uh, and some cheese. And uh, and then we're going to, I'm going to be using pasta. Pasta, as you Australians call it. Okay. Pasta. But for my, because of course I am no carb or low carb, I've got this. But so I'm, I'm trying to have a look. I want to look over there, but then I'm it turning. Yeah, I'm going to wait 20 seconds till it comes up on here. Oh, of course. So, so yeah, it's a slim pasta, and I've got it from Amazon. So I'll, I'll show it again next Ooh. week. Um, and I'll, I'll put it in the list of things you can buy there. And, and yeah, it's, it's no carb. So it's. I'm not Is that the cognac? What's made from cognac flour. Beautiful. Well, you'll love yeah, should it. Should be good. You can yeah, put, put uh, you can my glasses pass. on to read. Pardon? I said I need to put my glasses on to read the back of the packet. <laughs> oh, I need to take mine off. Go figure. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so I've got here, I'm going to duck over and I'm going to swap the cameras over. So I've got, um, you've got your Slim Pasta. And I've got a stove. Hang on a minute. Turn that around and show the rest of my messy sink. Um, I've got kombucha. And over here, um, I've got some, the ingredients that I'm using, I've got, I've got way, way, way too much tuna. Uh, are you using tuna in oil or tuna in brine or tuna in spring water? I've gone with... Hopefully, this is in spring water, I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. Tuna chunks, no, to light. It's in brine. Okay, I like tuna in brine, but I prefer using the tuna in oil for tuna mornay because it just seems to give it that, um, I don't know, that bit of, bit of oomph. Now, when if you're really, really in a poor man's space, you can do, you can just use white flour, butter, and just some um, water down milk. And you make your beach more sauce, which we'll do now. Uh, I'm using, um, I was going to use coconut flour, but I was at, at, out, I'm out, and I was at the shops and I didn't have time to run around and look for it. But so I've got plain flour, but this is gluten free plain flour. Nice. So, so we'll see, because I'm, I'm trying to, trying to, um, well, not trying to. I am. I'm um, changing, making small changes in my diet, and like swapping the pasta, like you've just done for the uh, slen, uh, the konjac. Um, but I'm going to add. I've got some veggies over here. 
and I'd love to say they're from the Coochie Fruities, but I don't put my order in till tomorrow, and that's not due till next week. So, but like you, I'm going. To, I'm going to be using some celery. I put some asparagus. Uh, I've got some chilies. I'm not going to use all of those. Some onions, and I'm also going to be using a carrot, which is still on the fridge. I've got what's called a perfect bake cheese, but I is, I'm not baking anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. i just wanted i wanted to ask you um are you, now you said how can you make a tuna mornay am i okay how can you make a tuna mornay if you haven't got an oven and yeah and i'm going hmm now you might be making a tuna bake so i'll make a tuna mornay and then i got to thinking oh my god i really love to make a tuna bake or get the crispy cheese on top. So you put breadcrumbs and and, crisp and cheese and make it all crispy and crunchy and melted on top. And I thought, oh, I know what I could do to get that effect without having an oven. So I went into the local um, kitchenware shop today. Yeah, yeah. My mask on because I'm good like that. And I... I asked them if they had one of those. Um, now, what are they? I didn't even know what they were called. Do you know the things that they they make the meringues, <laughs> the gas heaters? You burn your food with them. <laughs> well, like a grill, know? wasn't it? No, it's just a frame. I've seen them on Master Chef and that, and I have not. Didn't uh, know what that little, little blowtorch. torch. Yeah, yeah, a little blowtorch. I'm going, well, I don't need a blowtorch to burn my food, but it will help. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've got I, 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 I haven't got it to hand, but I do, I do, I do have, have one cut away in the back of the cupboard somewhere. Oh, I did not just roll my eyes just then. Totally, I did. Because I am not surprised. I just goes, you mean uh, whatever? And she called it something. I had, it started with a B, and I'm going, I don't even know what they're called. That's how unsophisticated I am in the kitchen. <laughs> So we've That's definitely got to look at the chef. I'm going to swing the camera around because this has to be shared because this is why we're doing it at this time. Oh. I'm, sharing my, I'm, I'm sharing my dirty window, but you also get a view of it looks like a bomb's gone off there. Come on, guys. Oh, nice. So it's um, sunset over Coochie. Sunset over Coochie. Uh, it just seems to be the camera's just taking on way too much light there, but... Just oh, nice. that looks amazing there. It is, and it's uh, the camera doesn't do it justice really because it's it's all um, it looks very light, very light, but it's, it's really a beautiful. Um, I might just take it out, hang on, I'll just turn it around again, and I'll just take it out the door because it seems to do better out the door okay. there. Oh, I'm now getting Ross's comments in. Thank you, Ross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As you're saying, I, I should have teamed up with you and done it using my thermi. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, it's it's Ross, yeah, you can. It's not too late. You know, we're, we're still in the chatting phase. I'm going to have to get some cooking on in a minute. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think yeah, I'll, I'll go, go with tuna oil. Sound nice. nice. And, and I'm saying, eat to, to the, the carrot. carrot. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I was a little, little bit. bit. Really? Carrot? Yeah, it looks a little bit sweet. So you can yeah. put whatever veggies you want. I think I might even have some snow peas in there as well in the fridge. But oh, I'm just gonna grab, just gonna grab a carrot, and then I'm gonna start chopping. So okay. I don't know why you would be. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm relaxed about it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we're quite, we're quite relaxed. Well, I did, I did, I'll tell you, I've been to the Raymond Blanc School of Cookery. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty okay at uh, knocking up bechamel and cheese sauces. But Ross is saying peas sweet, and sweet corn kernels. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. sweet corn tuna. Classic. And, you know, yeah, sweet and, corn kernels is always, a good, is always a good one. I was going to say, you may have been to the Raymond Leblanc School of Cookery, but I live on a boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, I'll tell you what I've got. When you, when, when you see how I make the sauce, you will be amazed. Oh, you'll use it. Yeah, I like you. I'm, I'm just going to go, okay, I'm going to swap the, the camera over now and I'm going to start washing and chopping and uh, we'll keep the baby rolling, eh? Yeah, 
you, you crack on. I'm gonna busy. Uh, I'm gonna be busy just showing the comments for a minute. Um, yeah, tuna mornay in the saucepan, Ros. Yeah, I, I see. I'm a tuna mornay virgin. That's the trouble. Um, and a gas flaming gun. gun. Flaming gas gun. Um, and yeah, we can. Who is a tuna mornay virgin? Virgin. Me. Me. I've never yeah. played tuna mornay oh. in my life. Oh wow. So, uh, okay. so that's cool. Um, yeah, Ros, I can burn food without paying. <laughs> yeah, who needs who needs these gadgets to burn your food? Um, and we've got uh, the painter's blow. Yes, Chris, exactly. Um, <laughs> With the painter's and, blow. And yes. we got we got people, we got Belgium, we got Australia. Hey, you we got, we got amazing Bev. Who Bev's birthday yesterday? So um, she had a great day. So hi, Bev. Happy you. birthday! I love that cakes. What did you? What was that called? A cake face smash or something? That was really cool. <laughs> yeah. Great way you I treat your employees. Oh, that, that was so sweet. I couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist it. I said, "Well, I said we'll have to do that in real life one day." <laughs> I saw that. I reckon there'd be a ripper. <laughs> uh, oh, so Ross is saying I live in a street away from. Boomer Beach, does that count towards sea views? Just got to walk a bit too. I reckon that's pretty close, isn't it? That's pretty close. It's, now, next question. This is a doozy. It really is. I need some help. Oh, do I? Oh, Ros, yeah, no, do unfortunately. I feel, so, do I Ros, is saying, have you, have you the go live streaming over on Amazon today? Ros, we should be on Amazon, but when we went live, that Amazon link dropped, and I can't reset it without. Switching off the whole, the whole broadcast. So we didn't want to do that. So we thought, you know what? Let's just carry on uh, on our Facebook groups. And uh, let's let's just carry on carrying on. Yeah, yeah. By all means, go go check out the Amazon. Nick Wood.live will take you to the Amazon page. Maybe not live, but there was the show from about two weeks ago. Um, but have a look around there. Follow us. You know, and join us. Tell your friends. Um, and then better saying thank you, guys. That's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, go and have a look, look at that. that. But, but next week, um, next, next week, God willing, we now have a solution. We will be live streaming on both our Amazon pages. So um, we've got a big, big, big shout, shout out and thanks to Steve Healy, our good yeah. friend Steve, who uh, worked yeah. out the solution because um, he's a, a gentleman and he's, uh, he's great. Um, there you go. Hi, Nick, there. I hope I haven't missed too much. Christina, no, we're just starting. <laughs> we started. We started and, uh, half an hour ago. <laughs> um, Christina, and, uh, I've got to come on and just say hi, special hi, Christina, because we started. We started cooking half an hour ago, and uh, not cooking. We started the show half an hour ago, and we've been just admiring the views. So, can I just do a special one just for Christina? Oh, totally, totally. So this is, we don't want to waste it. There you go. That's for you, out my kitchen door. Isn't that nice? That that that's, that's the front of my house. A beautiful hue in the background um, on, the, on the east. And I've been fun, having some fun with the lighting, so that's why <laughs> it's it's called you do yeah, what you can. Yeah, that All lighting right. is an issue. Isn't it? Quite a bit of lighting. Yeah. Issues. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, there. So I'm going to try and catch you up a little bit. I'm just going to peel my onion because I don't have a carrot. Now, you are Australian tuna mornay aficionados. How do you slice your onion? Do you have it in long Ooh. slices or do you have it in short, a little, a little short dice? Uh, you're not asking me, are you? No, I'm, ask, I'm asking I'll the official I'll, I'll <laughs> say, oh, oh, okay, yeah, the people who know. I'll say, <laughs> I'll say however you want. Um, there's a, a cook in Australia. He's, called, it's, he's got a show called Nats, what I reckon. And he tried to do a show without swearing, and it wasn't funny at all. But <laughs> we couldn't, he bleeped all these swear words out, and I barely understood what he was on about. Um, but uh, he, he just says, and I like his approach, it's like slice it however you want. 
<laughs> cool, cool. Oh, right, uh, Ross is saying, I'm not having any luck uh, finding Nick. No, just, just type it in a URL, just on, on your web browser, Ross, and that, that should take you directly, directly there. Christina's saying, fabulous, always love your view. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Thank um, you, Christina. Ross, I'm going to go with you, Ross. I rough chop my onions short dice. Short okay, dice I don't even know what short dice is, but I'm just going to just do what I do. Okay. And we've also got the lovely Carla in from Sunny Scotland. Well, I think it's Sunny Scotland. Anyway, morning, Carla. Hey, Carla. Oh, so, in the. Shut up. Blah, blah, blah. Ross has got a thermo mix. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, so you so you just pulse it then, Ross? Yeah. That makes sense. I'm, a, I'm vaguely aware of something called a thermomix, but that's about the extent of it. <laughs> and it's funny when you um when when you do live with you know sort of like. On, on a boat or in a somewhere where your um, resources are they might be finite but you've got to manage them so that you can have them as finite resources <laughs> yeah uh, sorry they might be infinite as in one once it's set up i've got as long as i've got sunshine coming in on the panels i'll have electricity coming into the um batteries but how much i use spit out the other end has got to be carefully managed i think i've got enough onion here to sink a, a banana so right i'm just putting my butter in my saucepan all right well i'm just going to do that too you are so have a bit of a butter oh, well. so if you've just joined us please invite your friends and family to come along um you might, you might learn a little bit about cooking from the Raymond LeBlanc School of Cookery. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry, um, my co-host, uh, the host of this show, uh, and, and my co-comedian friend, Nick. <laughs> yeah. I know, I've, I've, got, I've, got a, I've, got a, I've got a slight issue with that. I'm not sure I've got any more butter. <laughs> I'll learn your mind. Yeah, that, that's... A bit of a True organic from a, a salted butter for you purists who say unsalted is better for you or poo for you, <laughs> fury on you. Um, the ah, lucky day. Tandem cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Ross. Yeah, All right. Yeah. I, I, so, I love uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in dire trouble today. Hmm, red onion, Nick. I've only ever used white or brown in a morning. Yes. <laughs> I like to be a little bit different. That's that's interesting that, Ros, uh, that you say that because um, the flavour of the onions, now there's something that, um, that you said when we made the spag bowl, Nick, yeah. and that... And that was you talked about having the um, the red onion in the spaghetti bolognese because that sweetened it a little bit. Yeah, red onions are sweeter for sure. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, hang on, I'm just going to turn that around so I can look and and I go like this because the camera's crooked. But you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So I thought. That, it, does it really matter if you like if you want it a bit sweeter? It doesn't. I mean, the Mornay doesn't know, does it? No, no, the Mornay doesn't. <laughs> and also, we want to That's it. And you know, if, you, if we're going to be sweating our onions down as well, so this is just a slightly different flavour. So. We're going to be what? That's okay. I'm using red onions because I'm not putting a carrot in mine. We're doing what? Hang on, what's a sweating an onion? We're not sending it to the gym. We're not sending it to the gym, are we? Yeah, I made that up to a workout. So uh, <laughs> there's my onions, uh, that's the onions, there's a flour, and then butter. Uh, oh, you see more than that one. Yeah, just let that pour, and then I'll put a bit of milk in. Put a bit of milk in. Pour a drop of milk in. Uh, make, 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 make the beginning of the batch on that. 
Oh, okie doke. I have a different idea because normally I would do that. <laughs> Maybe I will do that. Oh, I love, love that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to raise, 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 raise us some peas. peas. I like that idea. Peas, peas, and, peas and what is it? Peas and corn normally go in, don't they? Yeah, yeah. No, I love that. that. I now, um, Trina is here. Hi, Trina. She's on my time watching. Oh, oh hi, Trina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We might not, not be able to run Amazon. Amazon. Um, but that's yeah. we'll be, we'll we'll be next, next week. But we'll, we'll, we'll also run on my time, run on my new Keto Nick page as well. <laughs> oh, well, that's handy. <laughs> That's it, and uh, and that's great. And, and this is the thing we, you know, we we both love BeLive.tv, so we're using BeLive because we can stream to all these different places, and we can show your comments up on the on the screen and got multiple cameras going on. So it's all good. And that's why we love it. Um, all right. So, so uh, oh, so Mary is saying, can someone tell me what fish is, is that? We, we are, are doing. doing we are doing tuna, I think it's a chicken, tuna more the very Australian fish. We have to do an English one next. Actually, yeah, well, yes, good point. While you're watching this, uh, guys, think about what you might want to see us cook next week. Or Yeah, give us some ideas. We'd love to have some ideas. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, are we using the... Ooh, this is a good question. Oh, Ross, you're coming out. It's not the end Ros is Ros, uh, Ros, I think you're trying to put me off by asking so many questions because she knows I, I'm a I'm a simple man. I don't multitask. <laughs> so um, so yeah, okay. sort of, and that's how she does it. Absolute up oh, good. We're on the same page, Ros. That's good. I'm I'm relying on you, Ros. When do I season? I'll season it once I've got the sauce going. I'll I'll season it towards the end. Um, okay, I've just made I've just made a lump of dough. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, this is, is there a difference using ghee? I've never tried using ghee, Ros. I'm just thinking, though, it might not thicken the sauce because the reason we use butter and flour and combine it is, 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 is that, that fat element is really important so that the, the I mean, it, will, it still can go lumpy, but it makes, it thickens the sauce, the fat and the butter. And it, it's, so it's making it into that, um, that consistency. Um, that you might not get with the, I don't think. But uh, if another more uh, assured chef knows different, I'm proud yeah. to their knowledge. Um, Maybe we can ask someone who's been to the Raymond LeBlanc School of Cookery. <laughs> yeah, we have a D in uh, with Raymond LeBlanc. Um, I'm, using, I'm using it on a desktop today, the B Live, uh, Ros. Um, and, oh, partisan crowd, I want the dare to win the race. <laughs> I'm deliberately trying to hold you up, Nick. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's funny. That's I funny. I think it is the fat part of butter. All oh, right, I don't think it might work. I thought it was. I know it's separated butter, isn't it? The so if it is the fat part, then that should work. Let's we'll try it. We'll have to give it a go one day. Put it in your thermo mix. Anyway, all this, all this. Give it a little hot pot, Roz. All this chit chat about ghee. I don't know. So, oh, that's looking good. Uh, that's looking good. Adair, looking good. Right. Yeah, I've done, put nearly a. Uh, I'm using so good uh, almond, almond milk. I've um, I we I finally weaned myself off of cow's milk and. It's not something that I would um, have as a regular part of my diet now. But, but almond milk is definitely something that I do enjoy. It's uh, I think it's an acquired taste. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and also, <coughs> but I've seen some of these um, milk substitutes as well. A lot of them, they they sometimes, sometimes they can, can be very uh, calorific as well. well. There's, there's lots of calories in there. Well, I guess there's good calories and bad calories as well because you sort of the trade off of the benefits. Well, you know, so. Um, uh -huh. uh, and Christina is saying, is ghee like clarified butter? 
I think so. Yeah, yeah probably so. is. Now, can you tell me what you know? Because I, I never quite get this about about cooking the um, the vegetable sauce for a certain length of time, so that you um, you change the structure of the flour and it doesn't taste floury. So, is there a trick to that that you know yeah. from your Raymond yeah. LeBlanc school of cookery? Yeah, so, so basically, that's what we were doing earlier on. But when you're making it into your little dough ball, when you were cooking your butter and your uh, flour together. Yeah. That's where, you're, that's where you're cooking that um that flour texture out. So that's, a, oh, that's, that's, I didn't the, uh, that's the school of thought around that. Is is that's where that's why you cook that first and then add the milk. Now, I'll be honest, you know, this is one of the first sauces I ever made. Going back to my my childhood, my mother, bless her, is the worst cook on the planet. So I had to she had this uh, Mrs. Beaton's book of household management, Mrs. Beaton, very old, famous UK cook. And so, uh, so I, I found the recipe for to make a sauce and make this special sauce, and it was like an eye opener. It's like, oh my god, I could put cheese in it, I could put wine in it, I could make it different flavors. And um, so, this is the first one I started. So I've always spent ages, you know, doing really slowly, belting the butter, adding the flour, going, taking my time, adding the milk bit by bit. My mother-in-law, whose mum was a, a, a cook. Um, to a big house back in the old days. I mean, mother in laws 96. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she, so she has these little tips that her mum taught her. And she said, she watched me doing it one day. She said, I don't do it like that. And I said, well, I think you're fine. This is the way to do it. She goes, I just chuck it all in and whisk the hell out of it. And I said, uh, that, that will never, yeah, that will never work. I said, the blooming does. And I'll be honest, nine times out of 10, that is how I now make a, a white sauce. I just put the butter well, in. I've never in the milk and stick it on a heat and then whisk the hell out of it. <laughs> I've, ne I've never whisked before, no. but I, I find myself in the possession of a nice size whisk, so I'm whisking now. Yeah, I've totally forgotten about that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, but I'm being traditional, so I'm doing it with my little wooden spoon. Uh, and I'm praying that, uh, that it's going to be enough. Otherwise, it's going to be a very loose morning. You can see him in the background here. <laughs> yeah. I've got it. Oh, I've got it uh, studio organised so that there's no like, there's wires and stuff going everywhere. But you know, it's a work in progress, isn't it? Yeah, so, oh, it's a working kitchen. That's the thing. I, thought, I love. It. I asked Siri. Well done, Ross. And so what did Siri say? Siri, he's clarified butter with fewer proteins than regular butter. It's supposed to be healthier and has a higher heating point. Ooh. Well, that's looking pretty cool. One of the things that I thought, I'm just going to pop, change the cameras for a moment, but just um, one of the things that um, that I I found out the hard way was if you don't put enough uh, liquid in and make it a bit runnier than what you'd like, you can stand a spoon up in it and you could probably use it for a football. So, <laughs> I have I have made in all transparency I have made tuna mornay that we've been able to use for a football. So ah. yeah, well I'll, this is my first go. I'm hoping that I'm I'm hoping that these are a little bit of onion I can fill the sauce and not the lumps of the flour. I think that's a, I think that's okay. So yeah, so I've left it a little bit looser, not by not by any great design, but only because I didn't have a lot of butter. <laughs> so, yeah. it's a bit of a, so it was a thinner sauce. Um, I'm just going to. You get to see everything down here. Oh, no. Dive into that. I think what I'll do. I have no idea. I don't normally put vegetables in it, but I've got them out to show off, so I'm going to use them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, do you what seasoning do you use? What are you using? Uh, I've got some um, vegeta. Oh yeah, the old staple. That's a good. Not, yeah. I like to put a teaspoon or two of that uh, vegeta in there. So it's probably a bit much, but that'll do. 
and I love the more cheese the better and that's where you need to put a bit more if you intend on overloading with cheese and I said I've got the perfect bake um, oh, cool. which, which I won't be baking that was why I was going looking for one of those things where I could set it alight and melt the cheese but um, that, that's not going to happen because they didn't have one in the homeware shop <laughs> Oh, now I'm, I'm using a, I thought I'd go, I thought someone would go for a normal, a normal cheddar, but I've got double Gloucester with onion and chive. So let's so, have a look. What, uh, what's that, Nick? I'm, hang on a minute. I just so This is the cheese that I've just grated. Oh, it's okay, a, nice. Yeah, so it's a double Gloucester with onion and chive. So hopefully that's going to add a little bit of, a little bit of flavour to the mix. I'm going to pop that in my sauce. I have no idea when we... Do we have the tuna quite late or...? Oh, fancy cheese. I like fancy cheese. I like me some fancy cheese. I always say, if there's not 14 different kinds of cheese in the fridge, there's nothing to eat. So... <laughs> you tasty cheddar. Which is, which is why keto is just such a great diet if you, if you like your, your, your cheese. Have you oh, tried? Have, have you tried the non-dairy, like the vegan cheeses? Uh, uh, I did, I have, did vegan have vegan cheese, cheese not so long, long ago. ago, and it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, I did a couple of years ago. It was an amazing vegan restaurant in London. It was it was like like whole vegan. I mean, nothing was massively cooked, so it was very. No, I was thinking really. All my nieces and nephews like. Oh, oh my God, Uncle Nick's not going to like this because he's a bit of a safe man. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'll tell you what, it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of my friends, I've got a lot of vegan friends. friends so, um, yeah. I've, 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 not, I've not tried, oh, well, I have tried vegan cheese. I went on a, um, a wild fit. I think we talked about that the first, uh, when we bagged bowl. Um, um, did a wild, wild fit program and that was uh, no... Um, no dairy, no wheat, no alcohol, no um, uh, no breads, no, you know, basically just eat air. No. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, though, when you're used to eating so much processed foods, when you replace it with whole foods, it's, it's a bit like, ah, uh, you know, um, you just... It really does. And you were saying that when you went keto, you were saying to replace the bread and the pasta uh, oh. or to cut that out. It's like that's your go-to and it's sort of like, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit interesting when you do uh, make those changes but then, you know, when you embody them a bit, it does become second nature, doesn't it? It, it does. And the thing is, there, it's, it's so lovely. Isn't it? Um, you're right. It was, it was basically... You know, I'm not uh, I'm not hardcore keto, right? But I just kind of fell fell into it because I found it nice and easy. And that was, you know, I was just told by my by uh, my coach and stuff, hundred time Iron Man. He said, "Look, just cut out the big stuff." So it was. It was rice, pasta, um, yeah. bread, and potato. Potatoes. I didn't eat them. I've asked him for a bus and a lot of potatoes anyway. But rice and pasta, and as Ben knows, rice is life. Um, it's that's a, that was a tough ask that really was yeah. so so but it, it felt it actually didn't feel as bad and it was it was the, the bread that i found more strange not to have because you know i used to have toast in the morning i'd have a sandwich at lunchtime we call it a manwich so one and a half slices so <laughs> and then you know it'd be like a ghost in, in night time as well so Cutting all those out, and, make, and can I just say, amazingly, well, not amazingly, it's true. Um, yeah, I've lost over 30 pounds now since the 10th of May. So that's around 15, 12 to 15 kilos? Yeah, about 12, 12 13 kilos, I think. Yeah. yeah. In three months. Right, I'm making yeah. a mess here. Yeah. I'm, I'm running out of light, and I haven't set up any other light sources, so this is going to be a bit fun. Um, <laughs> Well, Tell me, how are you going there? Right, I'm just um, 
Yeah, that's my, my sauce. That's my cheesy onion sauce. Yep. That's okay. I'm going to season that up a bit because it needs some, needs a little bit of a juice. So it's a bit of salt and pepper. And I love, I love Rossi's idea of some mustard as well. Oh, so, uh, where does it say mustard? Nice. Yeah, oh, we've good. got uh, Kalahari here who's saying about the uh, Asian ghee means clarified butter, taking out from white butter, stir stirring until it gets caramelized. White butter is the first fat taking out from boiled, taken out from boiled milk. And then vegan cheese, more healthier, hence it's less fat and no animal hormones. <laughs> Ros is going, I love my dairy products, the real deal products. I was brought up on a dairy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so true. I love my dairy as well. No, again, that's yeah. one of the things I love about the. I can. That's the thing about this this uh, keto diet is I can mm. eat cheese. I can drink mm. coffee and coke, and yeah, love lots of love. So you still got all your treat. And I've got to admit, I do have a, a little cheat day on a Saturday mm. the, where I'll have a, a cheeky little bit of salt and pepper. That's a salty. So, Nick, do you cook your vegetables separately? What, in a tuna mornay? Are you putting vegetables in or are you just doing the mornay like that? Just never taste. No, I'm, I'm just going to do the mornay without the vegetables. I'm going to pop just as a little side and have little cherry tomatoes. Yep. And uh, maybe a little bit of lettuce. <laughs> Um, and of course, I've got to work out how to cook my my kibachi zero calorie. Oh, sorry, zero carb um, sauce. Uh, sauce zero carb. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to put the. Um, I had this great idea of putting the celery and the carrot and the asparagus and everything in the morning. And now I just don't, I'm not warming to it. <laughs> You're not lighting your boat so much. No, no, it's not floating my boat. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Oh, I've got dream up tuna. Well, I probably should have drained mine. It's going all that oil's going in as well. You know, probably a good idea to look at getting responsibly sourced tuna as well. Um, if you can, mm. yeah, dolphin friendly, dolphin friendly, and yes, with I think Ros mentioned about putting peas and uh corn in not in your dolphin friendly, but in your um, in your um, in your tuna morning, that was definitely something that my we would have when it was in 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 the cupboard. We mum would put that in and it would make it go a bit further. And I'm going to be eating tuna morning for about a week, I think, by the looks of this. <laughs> yeah, we're early this week. This is um this is gonna be breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> is that what tuna morning is supposed to look like? Um, I have my doubts. Hang on, <laughs> let's have a look. I can I'm just I oh, know I've got my my face away from the camera. Yeah, I yeah, talk, mm. talk to the hand. <laughs> You can see it's getting darker outside up the other side of the let's yeah. have a look. It just looks like um a sort a saucy bit of a saucy bit of a saucy job. Well, I'll go C920, I'll show you mine. You show me yours, I'll show you. <laughs> it's that kind oh, of show. There we go. Yeah, good family farm. Yeah, and, so that's that'll thicken up. It's a little wee bit runny, so uh, and if I had a pannikin, I'd panic. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's that's that morning. So yeah, what I'm going to do because I'm a bit of a um, I'm a bit of a, a chili fiend, and I'm going to oh. Pop some chili in there. Oh, I love that over there. That's brilliant. Thank you. I take that as a high compliment from someone that's been to the Raymond LeBlanc School of Cookery. <laughs> <laughs> You're never uh, going to live that down. 
And I tell people, I go, I can't believe I challenged a cooking show, a cook-off for someone having no idea that you had a diploma in cookery. And, and I'm going, well, that's a, it's rather cool. So, so I guess, I guess you play you play the serious cook, and I'll just play the I'll play the fool. Uh, that's it. No, that's it. No, I didn't tell you, did I? I was a little bit naughty. Well, so what's up for next week? Anyone got any ideas? Give us give us uh, some ingredients. You know what we should do? We should say every everybody put in three ingredients. And we'll take those ingredients and make something. Oh, I love that idea. I don't really, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> yeah. well, depends what the ingredients are, but, yeah. In yeah, theory, yeah, well, they obviously, they have to be edible. Yeah, I love that idea. What, uh, what have we got in the, what have we got in the thing? Um, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, basically, yeah. So saying, full, full fat, fat unhomogenized milk. milk. Oh, fresh. Oh. That's something I'm going to do, um, Ros. I'll tag you actually because I'm going to have a little keto show, and on that I'm going to show you how to make. Well, you know how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to make your own butter. Woohoo! Zero carbs. Is, is that using the thermo mix? No, it's using a, a KitchenAid mixer. So. Ah, okay. So, so yeah, Ros is saying I put all the vegetables in the morning. But it's from tins, so <laughs> oh, and it's everything's pre-cooked. That makes sense. <clears throat> as far as from the tins. Oh, okay, everybody. If I'm making this look awkward, I'm doing it on purpose. I'm trying not to cut my fingers. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, I think you did a lovely job there. That's good. <laughs> Thank you for the encouragement. I need. Uh, it. I think I'm burning. I think I'm burning the mornay because it should be stirred, and I've got the gas on full, and I'm, I don't want to leave this because <laughs> I'm in the middle of chopping. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Give us. It's 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 um, yeah, yeah. Gonna oh, that's it. All right. Oh no, it's getting a bit, a bit, uh, a bit partisan. Come on, Aussies, says Ross. Come on, oi, 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 oi. Come on, Aussie. Yeah, oh, and Ross oh, is Aussie, a big fan of the um, but uh, but sweet and sour pork gets the uh, gets the thumbs up. Oh, um, sweet and sour Kahari. pork. Yeah, Kalhari. Oh, Kalhari. <gasps> Blake Christina. Oh, oh <laughs> Lemon juice. Oh, do you know uh, Kahari? Last week we made uh, chicken adobo, adobo and I failed miserably. And I ended up putting it, um, it slipped and I ended up putting way too much chili in there. And I don't think it had chili in the recipe at all, but um, <laughs> chili, chili covers a multitude of sins. I oh, know, but seeing you try to eat it afterwards was quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. I've made a roast where I've cooked, um, I've I've cooked potatoes and I've put um, cayenne pepper instead of paprika on. Um, yeah, don't scratch your eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. um, Christina's saying my mum used to put lemon juice on. Christina, I'm going to do that. I love that, Christina. Actually, and that's thank um, you. I think I think you saw it on the on the um, the spread bowl we did. Um, a little squeeze of lemon juice in the bolognese right at the very end. Lemon juice does something; it just elevates pretty much anything. Just a little dash at the end, not too much. You don't want to overpower it, but it just yeah. just sharpens own flavours. I think so. I can totally understand that. So, and it is the morning now. I need to work out. Pips, pips and all. Thank you, Christina. So dinner at Adair's, I'm going to put that on low, let it thicken a bit. Some spicy paprika too, oil fried chilli tastes better. Uh, yeah, there's something about, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put in, this is from a lady, I'll show you this. Now this, this is from a lady just down the road from you, I'll say just down the road. 
chili is was it? it crunchy chili Mountain chili in the, and these are amazing um that was really <laughs> let me show you. she does these chili snacks she's she's from thailand but she's been living in sydney for about 10 years maybe more. oh is that why you said she's just down the road from me yeah oh that's only 900 kilometers away yeah that's next yeah, she's next door it's a, it's a long road granted but <laughs> yeah, so, so these are little chili flakes that come through and you can eat them and they I, I don't know, she sent them through to me. I did a lovely interview with her uh, back in the last year. And it was, a bit more. They were really nice. But they are sweet and they're really hot. <laughs> oh. Sweet chilies that are hot. Is that what they make sweet chili sauce out of? Um, yeah, so they, I think they must be fried. They're like a little chili snack. Um, so you can't have too many of them because it like blow your head off. <laughs> But the perfect. Never perfect There's not a Sorry, Sorry, Christina. Then. That that was an absolute treat. That was just delicious. Now I'm not quite sure what the um, lighting's like now. Put some yellow light on. Uh, we're, we're, we, can see, we can see you now. <laughs> we're running. We're running out of um, running out of daylight. So I'm gonna. Turn this around and show you the, there oh, we go, that's sunset. That's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? We're just so blessed to be oh, here, laying. So um, trying this different approach so I can, yeah, get some, see how we go with the, um, with the camera. Is that like, can you see me now? Is it light enough? I've just got, Yeah, yeah, I can see you now. I can see you now. It was a little bit dark. Have to say. But, uh, I, well, I didn't set up any lights. I thought, oh yeah, we'll be well finished. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, that's that's my um, emergency emergency management background. You know, having a risk management plan and all your contingency plans done, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You know, Christina, I'm going to give you a gold star for suggesting the squeeze a lemon because that I've never done that before and that is really nice like really nice so just anybody have any suggestions for next week yeah bring your suggestions in guys or, or do you want to do the do the three ingredients and we'll see if we can whip something up with um you know say three 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 ingredients that could be obviously edible um and yeah. um preferably whole foods so fruit or vegetables or mainly probably vegetables i think or a mix of both i don't know yeah it could be anything we don't mind it could be anything so and then yeah. we can yeah just give us just give us three three things and each of you if you just chuck in three things in the comments and we'll see what we come up with <laughs> Yeah, that's, oh, that'd be so fun. And we're just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, my God. I've also got a cheesy stuck in the middle of it. Did it burn the heck out of a child? What was that? My grandparents' garden. She once got a chili seed stuck on my middle, on my lip. middle lip. It burned, burned like the heck of a child. Oh, yeah, that'd put you off, wouldn't it? That'd yeah. be really ah, fun. Kahar is saying uh, uh, fried battered mushrooms. Oh, now that'd be nice. Except, um, yeah, I've had I've had mushrooms, but do we have to have them fried? Have you got an air fryer? No, oh, I haven't. I was looking. Funny enough, I was looking in the in the shop the other day, and I thought, yeah. oh, I might get one of those. Oh, hey guys, fried. I've got some action happening out here. Police barge is going past. Hang oh, on. quick! No, quick! Quick! Hide! <laughs> say it wasn't you there's no police on the presence on the island so and that's how they get here they bring the barge they, and they drive that you know they have their um their paddy wagons on the barge and they drive on and off so yeah um yeah, a little snippet of island life there sorry what were you saying that was a, a, a moment thing i had to say it then yeah cool. so do we just um put these we just heat these up in a pan what have we got? Let me just see. Let's see. No. I've got a little packet of half-free pasta. 
I'll just put that back on to there. And you've got, I've never, I haven't seen the Konjac carb free pasta before. And I can't order um, it from, it's not available in Australia, which is interesting. So you're going to have to take one for the team on that one. All right, I'll, uh, I'll just rinse it and then put it in a pan. Um, um, oh, Ross, uh, no, Chris is saying duck, oranges, and potatoes. Ooh. Okay, all right. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, That's Ros good. is saying the pasta looks more like noodles. Ros has an air fryer, a duck, oranges, potatoes with fresh onions, fried battered mushrooms, slim pasta. Slim pasta. Oh, yeah, very slim. Well, Christina, I just want to know, you got a chili seed stuck in the middle lip. That was what you were um, you were saying before when I wasn't looking at the um, at the desktop. Um, and her, her <laughs> sorry, I'm oh, I'm going over this again, but I'm just looking at it properly. And Christina's saying, here's a tip: never sniff a chili from your grandparents' garden as a <laughs> if you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, don't do it, kids. Just leave them alone because they might be those, what are they called, the the red devils or the, I don't know, um, I'm friends with some people who live in Adelaide that they were um, the, um, oh, there goes the police barge, picked up the paddy wagon. Um, yeah, the, uh, the they, they would have a chilli like almost, um, his goal in life was to see how if he could grow the hottest, meanest chili, and he had Ooh. every every variety. And I, I was I was both scared and uber impressed because <laughs> I I go to his place and he'd be, he'd be scoffing these ones that would make you know the top blow off my head. You want some of that? And I'd be going, oh, <laughs> you know, uh, like my my mouth is burning just looking at it. Thanks, mate. So. Yeah, I'd say to my to my eternal shame, I got very drunk once, and uh, when I was in my early twenties, with my best mate sign, and uh, and we went to an Indian restaurant, uh, the way you do back in those days, and uh, and we ordered uh, chicken jalfrezi, and I was so drunk, I said to Simon, who puts who puts whole beans in a chicken jalfrezi? I thought it was it was just whole chilies, and I and oh. my drunken state, I thought it was beans, just a I'm thinking green beans, weird. So I ate one. Oh my goodness! It oh, absolutely... I was Did crying. That... I was oh, oh dear, my nose was running. Oh <laughs> my yeah. lord! Did that sober you up real quick? <laughs> oh, I will tell you what, I felt sick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was like, oh. oh dear! I, 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 you know, I, I did eat it. <laughs> did it? Oh, well, you've been when you're that age. Does it mean that you've got to be like manly? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I used to be terrible. I was terrible at, at curries. I'd always have a little chicken corn normally. It took me ages to oh. progress. And uh, my mate Sai, he'd, he'd have a, what was it called? A, a farl, a super, super hot curry. And he'd be, he'd be like a chat, he'd be eating it, and he'd be, sweat would be dripping from him. And I'm thinking, that can't be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks uncomfortable. Well, I'm going yeah. to, I'm, I'm about ready to plate up. And I'm I'm doing it. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm going lean. Going lean. How about you? Let's see where you're up to. No, right, okay. I'm, I'm not far off. I've just got my I've got my morning sitting in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, well, you can warm them through in the morning. That's it. What I do with the spaghetti bowl? You just um, just bung them hot all in. Uh, I know, I thought about using the cognac rice, uh, and I do have some here, but I just um, I just didn't. <laughs> I'm going to be eating morning for a while. That that will thicken up as it cools down, and it's usually I don't know if you find that some meals like this when they. Um, the the leftovers or the next day they they oh. really do the flavors fuse together and they're really really delicious so that's yeah. mm. Rosa saying it looks yummy uh, Kalahari saying we have very flexible and truly 
reality chefs here. Oh, to what? To Rose and Nick. Always yeah. better the next day it is. Sorry you're looking at the back of my head. It's like, yeah. It's <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Um, I was thinking too, uh, getting setting up like a studio and I'm, I'm thinking if I put little runners along the beams up here, up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could slide I could slide cameras around and lights action. and then I thought, where am I gonna live here and enjoy? Well I'm enjoying it now, but it's like <laughs> it's one of those things. I'm you can, sorry. You can, go, you can go too far. Yeah, so mine mine's looking good, looking lovely. I've got a little cherry tomatoes that I was gonna gonna use. That's a little well, I could really, I could really show off and pick some tomatoes out of my garden, which is over there. It's in darkness now, so. But, um, that wouldn't show. Um, I am. Um, I won't. But I do have. I wonder if I have paprika, mixed herbs, basil. I could probably put some fresh basil. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'll change the view so you get to look at my pot again. Um, uh, that's the cooking pot. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm going to go and pick some parsley. Oh, no, actually, you can just see the mess. No, I'm going to, I'm going to stay in front of it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm going to grab a little. No, I'm not going to grab a little bit of basil. It seems to have vanished. <laughs> my, 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 my little bang 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 seems to have gone. <laughs> Ros is saying, now, I, now the tummy is letting me know I need to get organised to cook my own tea and I really should have been organised to cook in tandem with you. We can, we can have another person on screen for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah we, we've got the capacity to do that. I reckon the more the merrier. I'm just yeah, going to no. scoot over and get myself some parsley. Yeah, get yourself some parsley. We've got Katari uh, there just saying... Uh, we're very yeah. thankful to be rested. And uh, what is it? it is looking yummy. Looking yummy. And Christina, Christina still loves chilies. Yeah, I do. I love chilies. I love chilies. All right. Over here. Uh, My big bowl of fruit. And no, I have some really. parsley, which is right at the back. Nice. I've got Rory saying basil or bay leaves. Make oh, basil I have basil too. Parsley. I, have, I oh. love basil. Just get some yeah. I yeah. Ross, use your thermo mix, Tennessee. Because you're the only one that has one, I think. We'd love to see your thermo mix. Yeah, show us your thermo mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got some um, basil, bit of basil. Um, uh, right, let me grab a plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, would you um, have a question for Kalahari? Do you put the um, – oh, where are we over there? Do you put the uh, the herbs on the bit that you plate up or do you put them all in the main dish? I'd be interested to know what you do. I'm getting a mess over here. Uh, I'm such a messy cook. Yeah, it's, um, this kitchen's not big enough for both of us. It's either me or the mess. One of us has got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of um, a bit of spinach. What was that? I've got some spinach and tomato going on the side of my. Okay. Mm. I need a producer. And what you <laughs> got? What you don't put on your dish, you eat. Mm. That's nice. So, oh. you're doing some, some finishing touches there, there. Yeah, I just thought I'd put some uh, fresh herbs in because I can. I know I saw your little basil pot there. It looks really good. Um, that um, picking them from the top makes them really flourish from the bottom doesn't it if you just pinch oh, out the absolutely yeah just pinch the top bits off and uh, yeah 
and it just comes through. It's really bushy and, and they're good. I think because I've got my Raymond Blanc cookery school whites on, I will just finish it off with a little drizzle of, of uh, virgin olive oil over the greens there. I think maybe that's a bit of really? a little touch just to start the fancy presentation. Yeah, go on, Get, go a bit fancy pants. You're allowed to. Because I'm going to have, I've got some of um, Melissa's lovely chilies. Little cheese snacks on, so for a bit of texture, a bit of crunch, and a bit of heat. Just put a couple of those on. Just a couple because I think they're on a bit on the warm side. Yeah, just a bit on the warm side. Let's so this see. is my first attempt. To, to oh my god, that looks like a best breakfast ever. <laughs> <laughs> as a script, it's, it's not bad. bad. It's, it's hey, it's not bad. I'll just make it. Out of the corn flakes. Yeah. Corn flakes. Corn flakes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you could all, you could always let me just pop that in there. I'm going to tell you a real, a real uh, Instagram uh, nerd now. Photo. <laughs> oh, go on, go on, there you too. <laughs> You gotta do it. All right. A few herbs in there, and then we'll do a. There you go. I can pop that on the on the key and it and today to show what we've uh, show what we cooked today. Well, mine mine is going to be a little bowl, so make out it's a pannikin. All right, that looks good. Oh, now yours is a, a little bit looser than mine, I think. Yeah, um, I normally, yeah, I I would normally put more cheese in, which makes it nice. Oh, Ooh. you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to lick it, eh? Like this. No, oh, yeah. That. That. It's only us. It's only us. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I, okay. saying, I don't mind double dipping when it's just me. Uh, I was saying... Oh, seafood powder comes tonight. Mm. You know what? We could, if we did want to get really fancy pants, you could do that and then maybe put some. Um, uh, what would be nice if you were eating bread? You could have some garlic bread around there or. Um, oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Bread. Um, or, or even corn chips <laughs> would be nice. Use it, then it becomes a tuna dip. But not to be outdone, Nick. Come on, I'm, get just that gonna, I'm just going to do this yeah. because I can. Here's some chili flakes, only oh, for I like color. It. Like it, it's looking good. There we go. So you've got the green. I reckon I'm going to get. Have to give you points for the green greenery, and I'll probably have to eat this with a spoon. <laughs> oh, that nice. looks that looks really delish. This tomorrow, um, it's it's going to be. God, it's, it looks a bit, oh, God, what a mess. Um, tomorrow, <laughs> that, that if it's, it, it really does, once it's set, it sets really, really well. So, <laughs> right, sorry, Dad, what, are you making mousse or tuna mornay? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> now, taste test. Oh. Taste it. Let's taste. Oh, mine looks too good to taste. Oh, what do you do? Mm. oh, mm -mm. really, really good. It's got a really it sweet, is. sweet flavour. I've never made it with almond oil, uh, almond oil, almond milk before, and that it just—I don't know. It must be the must be the almond milk that gives it that sweetness. Wow. Because at yeah. Mm. My first time with um with that uh, pasta, that kabachi mm -hmm. pasta, absolutely gorgeous. Well, and that's probably good. why. That's probably why yours is more is thicker. Because mm. I didn't put pasta in mine. Mm. That's true. Mm. Mm. I probably could. I probably could. Um, I could put some big, uh, some konjac rice in there if I wanted to, but I actually quite like it like this, very light. But the konjac will make it, it will still say light. It's not, I think the Shinomone is traditionally a, a quite a heavy meal. Mm. 
um, and if you, I want to, I want to try it with coconut flour and see, or almond meal, and see if it does um, uh, behave similarly. <laughs> similarly, similar mm. behaves differently or the same. <laughs> yeah, no, that is that is my first my first uh, taste of tuna morning, and it's delicious. Really and nice. You didn't bake it. No, I didn't bake it. No, the first recipe I saw, you put it in the oven for twenty minutes. I like mm. that recipe. This recipe is, is lovely. Um, yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Rossi saying tea time. Mm. All right. Well, that is yeah. awesome. Mm -mm. That's amazing. Right. Oh, the dear. Yummy, mm. yummy. So, guys. What's up for next week? Yeah. How did we do? And what do you want for next week? We got some oh. we got some list of ingredients. But if you want something, just, just let us know. Just put it in the comments. And if you're watching on the replay, of course, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll always check the comments anyway. Yeah. To watch something. Um, now, Adair, shall we go a little bit later next week again? <laughs> Don't you like getting up cooking early? <laughs> it's much early for me. <laughs> well, that's all that fine. preparation beforehand. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we could do, um, well, I suppose week about, but I'm, I'm fine either way. I'd just love to share the view and of course if we did even an hour later um in two months it's going to be fairly light outside yeah. anyway so yeah so yeah. i'm happy to i mean if we <clears throat> to, like now if we're starting at six because it's just after six it's going to be dark so um that's cool um oh, yes. either way and i'll uh, i'll get my lights set up and uh, get it organized again for um for the evening no session so oh okay. good cool christina saying i was going to suggest bread and butter pudding or maybe rice pudding oh do you have to put that in the oven or can you mm. yeah but well, i think we, this is the thing because like, rosie because uh, uh, adair is on her boat um she doesn't have an oven so we can't oh, do two, things that two gas doing... top because like yeah. a little two gas rings that's it yeah, yeah. Of so. course, of course, mm. uh, i keep calling you ross now so <laughs> adair also has you know you've got the solar power so it needs to be sunny <laughs> so well I can, get... i've got the generator that i could put the generator on but um you put that on you can't hear yourself think so um oh. so it's it swings and roundabouts but definitely the trade-off is worth it <laughs> it is it is and because uh, he's uh, i'm gonna have a try it this was a staple growing up there yeah yeah cool. well uh, yeah. let's who said that try it Rice pudding, yeah, you could do rice pudding. Right. And rice pudding, you could. I'll tell you what, rice pudding, you could use your blowtorch, Adair. I did get one. The caramel. I totally big up. Look at my blowtorch. Who needs yeah. an oven? I can I can make the I can make the cheese bubble and melt. But uh, well I probably want to practice that first and maybe want to just make sure I've got a fire extinguisher handy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, make sure we've got all the health and safety covered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's that's yeah. cool. Oh well, all listen, right. we should eat it before it gets cold. Thank you, everybody, uh, for watching. Thank you so much for your comments. Thanks, Ros, Christina, uh, Chris, yeah. Dev, Kalahari. Thank you so much. It makes it all worthwhile. We've had a pleasure. Always been so a laugh fun. cooking with it there. And um, so we're going to be next week. We're going to be hopefully on the same places as we are facebook etc but with the added yes. we will be back and fingers crossed god willing we will be we'll on both, amazon of our, both, of our, both of our amazon pages, pages so you can, you can see, see us both there. there but in the meantime, meantime please just just, just sit over there um what's, what's your link, link? Uh, uh it's anyway. um it's my time tv dot live but it's amazon uh oh maybe you don't have it there to, to pop in there this is us getting no. organized um i'll put it i'll give you a link and we can pop it in the comments or i'll come yeah. put, pop it in the comments afterwards so yeah yeah we'll drop it in the comments afterwards oh, whatever, we'd love to have a, a follow and when we're mm. when we're live jump in and say hi you know it's um it's a real community that's being built in the live streaming um space over on amazon and as it is on facebook and on youtube as well so you know it's sort of it's kind of fun it feels cozy which is good yeah it's cool yeah brilliant and chris yeah. is saying chris is saying thank you for a great show thank you chris thank you Kalari. thank you, thank thank you. you. great chris. to see you all
And we'll see you at the same time on Tuesday, so we'll be going at 6 p.m. Six, do you want to do it at six or do you want to do it at but again so that's your nine so do you want to go 10 o'clock for you and 7 p.m for me i'm cool either way if you're cool with that let's fit it back to that then that, that was all right before. let's that do that good. so 7 p.m australian time 10 a.m uk time until next week have an amazing week whatever you're doing and uh yes, stay safe and bye happy, happy cooking indeed